Hey guys, it's Oleg. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to look up property taxes. You can do it yourself. It's pretty easy. I'm going to show it how I do it for my clients through the phone. And we're going to do it for a property in Cook County. You can also do it for other counties. I'll tell you what the other websites would be. But uh, we're just going to hop into my mobile phone and I'm going to show you pretty, pretty easy how to do it. So we're going to go to a website called cookcountytreasure.com. We're going to scroll down to this blue tab that says pay online for free. And then it gives us two options, either look it up for by a PIN number or look it up by the address. So we're going to try to do the address. Uh, it's usually better with a PIN number, but um, I don't remember the PIN number for this property. This is one of my listings. We're about to close on this home and I'm just going to show you what the tax is going to be. So it gives us a little bit of information. What's the PIN number, address, uh, property owner. We click on property tax information, gives us overview. So in this overview, we can see, scroll down that everything is paid. That's the first page you want to check. Everything is paid. And, but to see the tax bill, all we need to do on the left, we see the three lines. It says your uh, overview quick links. We click on that. And the second one is download your tax bill. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to download. Now it gives us a couple options, either uh, second installments for 2018-19 or 2020 first installment, but we need second installment. So we're going to click on 2019 second installment. It shows us the bill. So the most important thing in the bill is here. So on the top, we see on the left, the property value for 2019 is 406, 406,000, which is too much. This property is actually worth a little bit less, which could be appealed. You can use this number to appeal and get your tax bill reduced. And that number is pretty much the most important number because based on that number, the tax bill is calculated. If you see the math underneath it, they, they use some e equalizers and tax rates to come up to 8,926 bucks. And on the right side, we here see all the exemptions. So they use that 8,926.7 and they applied homeowner exemption, senior citizen exemption, seniors freeze exemption. So that's, that's pretty much all the exemptions you can ever get. And if you're the buyer, now you see, okay, so if I'm, the, if I'm buying the property, I'm gonna rent it out, I have no exemptions. If I'm buying the property and I'm gonna move in, I'm gonna have the homeowner exemption. You know, and then if I'm a senior, I'm gonna have this one, and, I'm, and then you have one more for the senior freeze. But that pretty much gives you an idea of what your future bill is gonna look like. That's how I do it for my clients. If, if they're buying and gonna move in, they're gonna be moving in, pretty much your bill is gonna be about 8,200 bucks, a little, a little less. And so here on the tax bill on top, you see where it goes. You know, most of the taxes usually, uh, the bigger, bigger portion of it goes to schools. And here we, we see where it goes and uh, village and, and everything else. So that's how the bill looks. If you're in a DuPage County, you go to dupagetreasure.com. If you're in, in McHenry County, you go to mchenrytreasure.com. It pretty much do the same thing over here either use the address or a PIN number and look up your taxes. All counties have different bills. This one, in my opinion, is pretty much the easiest, but the other ones are also, you know, you, you will see the math on the other side. And a Cook County website, they have it on the left in the bottom, and DuPage and McHenry, they have it on the right. But pretty much you see the whole math um, on the bill. 